and that is everything around you that you call life. I don't. I, I can't grow a beard, man. I can only grow the old classic Filipino mustache and goatee. If there's a way for me to grow a beard, someone, someone hit me up with the with the solutions. That would be a nice thing to have. Either way, today is a normal day. Head to the gym uh, later than usual, but you know what? Well. We move. Gym time, leg day. I was planning on having this video where I was gonna talk about my second like month update, I guess, when it comes to deleting social media, but looks like the weather's not too permitting because I would like to go back to that spot that I usually go to, the, the, the parking lot. Today's actually gonna be a nice little mukbang day. Never done this before, but it's just gonna be me talking to you guys. And I guess in a way, it's kind of like a, kind of like an update, just chatting along and letting you guys know where my, uh, where my life is slash headspace, I guess. We'll just have a conversation, but for now, uh, gas time. Yeah, if I did my little talk out there, I'd, yeah, I'd probably just freeze to death, to be honest. I think before I even get to my main point, I'd probably get hypothermia prior to it, so. And it's windy, too, so that's, that's, uh, no, I'm good. I need to take some meds tonight, because I feel like my, my throat's getting, like, scratchy again. Usually, whenever that happens, there might be a sickness coming in tomorrow, so I should, uh, definitely gonna have to, um, get some meds in. See, the thing is, right, I don't have, like, a beard, obviously. I do have a little bit of, like, really thin hairs, like, all over this area, so it, it, I technically do have a beard, but I don't. It just doesn't show. Shaving it down, it definitely feels really smooth. I feel so much better. $40? God damn. I'm ready to take on this leg day and then have a nice meal with you guys during this mukbang. Gym time over. Did some leg day, of course. Got the cheeks, you feel me? It's more prominent when I don't have the pants on, but I ain't gonna be showing you that. Looking sharp, as always. Still pretty ripped, but we're gonna get out of that. Without further ado, it's time to eat. I've been waiting for this the whole day. All right, at the mall, wish me luck. Uh, the weather is quite rough out there, so. Wish me luck. Oh boy, god damn. This weather here is so bipolar. Apparently tomorrow's gonna be snowing, so. <laughs> Okay, it is what it is, right? All right, ladies and gentlemen, we can finally enjoy. We have we have moved to an undisclosed locate. It's literally just the other side of the parking lot. I think the best food that the mall has is uh, from this place called Thai Street Food, and it's it's what it is. It's it's just Thai Street Food. Really delicious. Most important part, really good price. This was like eight bucks, man, and this is like full of food. Happy, happy, happy about it. Gotta take this off just so I don't spill anything. Am I the only one that's like really OCD about stuff like this? I don't want to get my shirt dirty. So what I have. Actually Actually, right here is just uh, chicken, like ground chicken, and then there's also some chicken right here, but it's uh, but it's fried. I would go to like a Chinese restaurant, like like a buffet or whatever, but one day I will do that. One day, have a little mukbang in there for you guys. We're gonna be enjoying this food and just kind of talking. What the fuck's cracking with it, my nigga? This your boy. Eat that pussy, fo fo. Just a quick little podcast for you guys, pretty much, but with uh, with food. It's pretty much what mukbang is, right? I'm gonna take this first bite. I got some rice with it, of course, for some calories. You know what I mean? Mm, got that little spice in there too. Man, these guys never disappoint. I think my tonsils are swelling up a little bit, which is kind of a bad thing because that means I might have a sickness coming. And yes, I know drinking Coca Cola is probably not the best thing for it. Oh, they got some jalapenos in there. Yummy, yum, yummy, yum. delish. I guess we could start this conversation off by um, saying thank you for the for the support on that uh, guitar video. I don't know why that's taking off, but. And a lot of you guys were actually like giving me like genuine tips on how to get better at the guitar. And um, some of you guys were like telling me to keep going and all that kind of stuff, which I will. Overall, man, I think recently, like every comment has just been love just been love 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 and i thank you guys for it because it's like it does help out a lot it helps me feel like i am actually doing something right and you know you guys are entertained you guys that's the most important part i want you guys to be entertained and i want to share my my life with you guys putting everything on the line because um you know i feel like the fried chicken is good by the way because with everything that i do work um training uh going to the gym um making sure my you know making sure my nutrition's right, all that kind of stuff. Now with the guitar, all that. YouTube is like something that's completing it. Yes, I am busy. Yes, I do stuff like every single day and it's like uh, I keep myself busy, but I don't feel like I keep myself busy enough. Y YouTube is something that's been like completing that 
completing that whole circle. Not only is it because the type of videos that I do are vlogs, which is just like taking you guys through my day, but also I guess it like, it helps me keep track of like, <clears throat> but it also helps me keep track of like my life and it helps me like release creative energy. It takes up my time too. So whenever I have a lot of dead time and, and time that, you know, that could potentially be wasted, I use YouTube as something to, to fill in that gap because the worst thing you could do is just have a day where it's like you just sitting on the couch you know what i mean of course for some circumstances that's okay but to me it's like i don't have those circumstances where i have to sit on the couch the whole day i'll be honest with you guys i do have days where i just like um i i have like one or two hours where i just sit on my phone and you know watch youtube and stuff still off of social media but with youtube now that has decreased a lot and i've made myself better because i'm more busy i have more responsibilities uh, for myself. I guess I kind of sidetracked there, but with all of that, with the whole YouTube stuff, I'm glad that I can just, you know, release creative energy and you guys receive it well. You guys like the videos. Some of the videos might be like stinky, but at the end of the day, pumping out content every single day, not every single video is going to be a five star video. Maybe because I wasn't big enough for it to hide, even at my peak of like weight and stuff. I think I maxed out at 157, 158. Whenever I do flex my abs, it's still it's still there, which is interesting because I guess I don't keep as much fat in my stomach. Yes, I know anatomy, man. <laughs> you have muscles and you have fat over it, but like I feel like I hold fat like on the sides right here more. I don't know why. I guess thank you genetics, but I'm blessed a little bit, I guess. So big ups genetics. It definitely feels good to finally eat a lot more than usual. I've eaten a lot this week and I don't know if it's because I'm just like full of food that I'm like more happy or what. I'm a little bit more happy in general, which is great, but that's another topic. Yeah, I've been eating a lot this week. Hopefully it's paying off because the whole goal is obviously to try to get to 160 by 50 days. That's like a pound every three days or something like that. So definitely think it's possible, but it won't happen if I don't keep eating so let's uh let's keep eating gang so good i've gone to this place so many times that like the lady like recognizes me now last year i had this point where i started going to the gym a lot and like for the first time like actually taking it seriously and i used this thai place as like my place to eat after workouts it's done me nothing but greatness you know i'm sure this has a lot of calories in it i just don't know exactly how much but we all gotta remember this isn't the only calories I'm going to be eating today. I still got the smoothie. All I know right now is that the flavor is delish. I know that's not fireworks, dude. I hope nothing crazy is going on right now. If there is, I hope everyone, everyone's okay. You can't blame me for thinking it might be a shooting, man. We're in America, so. Luckily, we haven't been hit with, like, a lot of shootings here in my city. It is a much smaller city than like the than like the Dallas's, the Los Angeles, you know, all those really big cities. But I know we've had a few of them, and a couple of them ended in tragedy, which is it really does suck. Let's not try to get too political here. I don't, I don't, I just don't know how to solve it, bro. You know, I don't know how to solve it. Here's how we solve it: we just nuke everyone. <laughs> or you know what? Why don't we just feed this to everyone in the world? This will probably create world peace, it's that good. I have this theory which um, the medical people could probably answer this like with 100% facts, but um, this is just bro science. I think that like the more you eat, like let's say like you start a bulk um, coming from a cut, I think your stomach just like expands more the more you eat. And then with your stomach expanding from the bulk, it kind of leads you to being able to eat more than... <clears throat> God damn. To eat more in general, which I think it's becoming more true because just now, like, I probably wouldn't be able to take all of this down if I was still, like, in the cut. The only reason why I'm going slow is because I'm talking to you guys, which that's one thing I wanted to add to. I've always been dunked on for, like, eating slow. If I'm, like, on a date or something, they, they always say that, like, God, you eat slow. And I'm like, well, m my reply to that is just, I just want to talk. You know what I mean? I don't just want to eat. I want to talk. But I guess in general, I just haven't been the one to, like, mow down food a lot you know what i mean you know what i would mow down is some steak rice and uh this soy sauce vinegar mix of dip i would genuinely probably i would probably gain like 20 pounds that night just from eating that like a nice ribeye a nice plate of rice a nice dip i wanted to give you guys an update on the the tattoo very bumpy as opposed to like this one which isn't bumpy at all like there's a couple spots where it is bumpy but not anything near this like every single letter is bumpy the lettering right here is also uh bumpy but overall it's looking pretty good honestly sometimes i do forget about this tattoo <laughs> i'm not gonna lie to you looking really good sometimes i just need to take off my shirt to just be like oh god yeah that's right i do have tattoos it's cool knowing that i do have some but it's also cooler that 
it means a lot and it means something you know <coughs> i'm almost done and i've been recording for 30 minutes this isn't bad boys this isn't bad at all it's too late now but i don't even know how like a like a mukbang works i don't think i've ever watched um, a full mukbang video ever i think the way i think about a mukbang is like people eating but it's kind of like a podcast and like an eating podcast. We'll still call it a mukbang anyway. Got a little bit of rice left. Very delish. Your boy is done. 34 minutes. Time. But the eating isn't over yet because I still <laughs> I still got more eating to do, boys. I think my mom made some Filipino food at home and also got the protein, the protein smoothie. So, Dude, I really do think it's food, man. I woke up this morning not feeling the greatest, but now I just like feel good. I'm talking head-wise, like headspace, I guess. Is that just what food does to you? In this sweet surrender Every moment spent with you Is a moment I treasure I don't wanna fall asleep Cause I miss you, babe Look into my eye You mean to me You search no more It's not worth dying for I would give I can't even do false son of This sex could be evidence, this sex is evidence I try to ask you what you know, murder's no kind of passion But damn, I'm so mature, give me a therapist So tell me this other man, I don't want none I just want you, if I can't have you, no one will Alone, the great protector I don't think so I don't think I'm meant to understand myself Let's try to blow out our voice. If you want it, girl, come and get it. All this is here for you. That one, it was a violation. Personally, I wouldn't have it. All right, so got some time with the guitar a little bit. I was, I was just kind of like getting better at like, you know, the, the right pressure to, to, you know. The, the last one was bad, but getting the right pressures and just kind of figuring it out. I think the way I'm going to do this is actually one of the advice that uh, that was left in the comments is to just learn like A, B, C, D, you know, all, all the notes and just kind of memorize it and just kind of figure it out from there. I think that's the best idea, but I still want to learn savory tears. But either way, chug some protein smoothie. We're packing in the calories today, so it's 1230. I got to edit this. All right, good night.